Today is yesterday. And let me tell you a story about how that came to be. Talk about how lucky we were. Yeah, yeah, I did. We had someone pull over and help us change the tire, and we used their jack. Good. Not only was it somebody that offered to help, but he had a very competent confidence about what to do and yeah, yeah, nice how to guy. do it. He had the tools to, to help make the job easier. I mean, that was we could not have asked. He knew for what he was doing. Yeah, a better person to pull over. I was hoping that if we flailed along long enough, somebody here would see us on their camera and say, hey, we got all this industrial equipment. Yeah. We can come help you out. But that was, uh, that was awesome. That was a godsend. So the plan now is to get on back to Fairbanks. Yeah. I'm gonna Take plan on slow. driving through the night nice and slow. Unfortunately, the sun doesn't set in Alaska at this time, so it's going to take us a while to get there, but we'll have enough light to be able to see the road. I do want to say that other than that jack, we're totally equipped for this. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, that would have done it. This would have been it's slow. It would have taken a lot more time, yeah. I like the fact that we... Um, we're not professionals at what we're doing, but we're learning as we go, and we're definitely were we were prepared. It's just never fun to have to deal with, mm -hmm. with this, and one of the big rules of traveling is don't panic, right? I got yep. this net on. I, I look like an idiot, except I also jumped. These in. mosquitoes are horrible. And I jumped in the Arctic Ocean today and looked like an idiot there too. So what do I care? Hmm. It was worth it. What if we didn't have those? We couldn't have used the, mm -hmm. the jack that he had. It was a great jack, but we couldn't have used it. Kind of all my favorite stuff. I'm not a fan of this. Slow and steady is going to win our race. That and coffee. <laughs> Coffee's gonna win our race. We love coffee. You are correct. That's what it was, because I did feel that swaying. Mm. Yep, we were swaying. And you asked me about it, and I said, no, I think it's uh, within reason. And it was pooling too, wasn't it? Before that, you were like, it's kind of pooling. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, that would do it. Yeah, so we did it a while back. Mm -hmm. But again, the way I like to look at it is the timing. I mean, if we popped back there, they would have come by. No, oh, yeah, they would have come by. But if we had gone another mile, they would have passed us before. Yeah. We would, we would be past them. They'd be in. And, uh, and no one else has come by. You no noticed that? Yeah. That was a divine appointment right there. That's what I'm calling it. Yeah. We've got about 450 miles to mm -hmm. Fairbanks. At 30 miles an hour. 
That's 15, 15 hours. Are you ready to drive the truck? You want me to drive? Because we'll be going really slow if I drive. in the morning. We've just been driving. Lindsay got to close her eyes a couple times. Fortunately, I didn't close my eyes. We're uh, 50 miles from Coldfoot, which is almost, almost the midway point to getting back to Fairbanks. So we're, um, we're going to be on the road for a while. The good news is we practiced this, I guess we can't say yesterday. Now it was, it was the day before yesterday when we came out. We, yeah. So the sun is now rising for the southern part of the state. Whereas when we were up north, it was just a constant like haze, kind of eerie. So it feels like a new day now, even though it's really just the same very long day. I think I'm going to have 24 hours a week by the time this is over. I haven't done that since college. college. <laughs> Probably. I, I couldn't even remember in college when I did that. Or why. Five o'clock in the morning. We just stopped for fuel at Coldfoot. And uh, the coffee, of course. I was lagging a little bit and uh, so I got a pitcher of coffee. Is that what you call it? A pitcher? No, it's a thermos. I got a thermos of coffee. It hasn't kicked in yet. So I got a cup to go and a whole big thermos. I'm not going to even speculate on how much time it's going to take. We've got 260 miles to Walmart and Fairbanks. God willing, the tire holds up, which it's doing great. Everything about the truck's holding up. Lindsay's not so much holding up, but that's okay. If I could sleep and not drive, I would. The dog is still on the prowl for rabbits, which are still out all over the place, even though we went through Rabbit Haven already. So, uh, I don't know if she's gonna chill back down. We're 60 miles to the Arctic Circle again. And then a little bit beyond that is Finger Mountain, which is the worst road of all that we will have ahead of us. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename that, give it the Finger Mountain, because I will probably do that in passing at some point. Um, anyway, we're not stopping for either of those, God willing. We will just keep on moving. It's been a long, long day. I was up at nine o'clock yesterday, so I've been up for 20 hours. So is Lindsay in parts, mostly in whole. So I think it's gonna be a 
It's 9.21, which means I've been awake for over 24 hours. Much of it driving, too much of it driving. You can see Lindsay's in a great state. We are four miles from getting through the back end of the Dalton Highway. And uh, I'm just letting it back down. I had to let the transmission temperature cool off a little bit. So we got this massive uphill and I think it's toward the end because we're so close. So, ready to hit again? It's gone down. It's back to the middle. All right, here we go. Hey Dalton, you're a punk. What do you think? See you later. See you later. No, never, never again. Never. Bye. Done. Bye high Felicia. High five. That was a bad high five. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Bye, Dalton. That was a long haul. We are licking some wounds after that. Two long hauls up and back. The one on the way back was supposed to be a lot more broken down, and we ended up breaking down and uh, pushing on through the night. And so we put the Dalton Highway behind us. That is a feeling I will cherish for the next 75 miles, 80 miles, until we're back in Fairbanks, where the Walmart parking lot is like paradise. What do you think? Let's get there. So this is what it looks like to do battle with the Dalton Highway. It is covered in mud. Flip the back. Mud flaps, of course. tire was kicking it up when you open the door. She's gonna get a really good bath this afternoon or this evening after I wake up. It's 11.30, so call it 26 and a half hours. She did the, she did the job. Look at that, it's caked on there because it's so hot. We're gonna get the truck clean.
drove into one of these bends. Last time we came into one of these, where were we? Mississippi. And who was getting clean? <laughs> Everest, because she rolled in a dead deer. The dog rolled in a dead deer and said so she got a little cleaning. But now we got a lot of mud to get off. So we're gonna try to knock this out. It may take more than one. So we're just gonna we're just gonna give it to it once over. If my OCD, my OCD kicks in, then maybe we'll do more. We brought, brought a big piece in the back of it. You want to put some in a bag? Nope. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, no. Just big clumps of what fell off when we watched the truck and camper. What are we cheers into? To the top of the world. To the top of the world. <laughs> cheers. We made it to the top of the world and we're working our way out. Uh, whiskey. Urban. It says whiskey on the bottle, doesn't it? It's Kentucky. It's <laughs> bourbon. It's bourbon. It's good stuff. Celebratory stuff. It's my Not favorite. all the time stuff. Sorry, dog. To Prudhoe Bay. Nope. And never going back. Mm -hmm.